uh, I like um, weekly email. It's a follow up of like what they expect from us or what they needed from us, as well as what we like accomplished or what we did. How I think we execute that from a marketing perspective is we have uh, Kristen like writing an email that possibly in drafts or something like that that sets up. And this possibly could be me because I honestly like that it comes. That's where I'm battling. Do I delegate it or do I do it? But um, what I want to give to somebody is saying, here's bullets of what we talked about from our last meeting. Here's what I like see you doing. Here's what I think you should do. Here's a screenshot of a post that I like from LinkedIn and your message. Here's like a video that we watched. And it really shows people that we're there. And without even them doing anything, we're adding the value for them. I love that. I think it's a combination of you and Kristen. That sounds like her notes with your context. Yeah. So what I'm thinking, Kristen, is what I would like while you're looking at every person, uh, I would like you to go through, like since we're doing these meetings on Tuesday and Thursday, maybe through Monday through Thursday, get some notes ready for every individual that I can be ready to copy and paste maybe a Word document of some kind or files or whatever. And I think the easiest way to actually do this may be, I'm trying to figure out how to do it through my email, but you get to set it up. And whether that means basically without giving you access directly to my email. So I wanted to see if either, because it should come from me, I think the power it comes from. Maybe that means the third party MailChimp thing where it comes from info and then we can- No, solve info doesn't way. get read. Why don't you send this? Why don't you just do this based on the frequency of the meetings instead of trying to do this every week? You're going to give yourself a full-time job if you do this every week. I think this makes us referable. I don't want to get in your way. I'm just saying that if you oh, send, absolutely. if you do a review of, I don't know, eight to 12 people a week that you're sending out. I mean, that's, that's literally a community management job and I'm not against it. It's just based on the scale we have. Can we do it? I'd like to try. Um, go, go. So in my mind, that could be an extra hours of work per week, maybe give it an hour for the email. I would assume they get faster and really maybe quicker if Kristen can help me with notes or at least screenshots of people's content. But I'll, I should be consuming the content as well because I need to be able to give the context to it. So that's where it's hard and I'm trying to figure out how can I get Kristen to help. But um, because we're the ones talking in the meetings, like it's the same. She's the ones talking to us. She's the one dealing with me. Then she's the one who tells me exactly what I need. However, they all work in Asana so that they have a bunch of notes. So maybe it's something like this where we're still coming together. And again, Kristen can add insights and notes somehow from, from the meetings that, and then I can add some context to the email. I'm trying to, I'm still playing with this idea. I'm trying to figure out how to make it consistent and it's easier for because it's like, hey, I asked for a June statement, so get me those. I asked for this, so get me this. For us, it's going to be like, hey, don't forget. Every week, it's going to almost be the same. You said your marketing homework was this. You know, this. These are your. So really, it's just going to be a post review, I guess. It's really just going to be a content review, a weekly content. I like it. I'm not against it. It's it's something I believe in. It's just I'm. What does it take from? What is what 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 hours does it borrow from? Is all. This is what I'm going to say. Uh, everybody that we're working with is posting like a handful of times a week. I could grab one post a week and add some insight. And I think that would at least be a good start. And that could probably take me 30 minutes. Screenshot of a post. I actually watched the video. I take a screenshot of the video. I put it in his email. I say, I really liked how you said this. I like this topic. I wouldn't have, I, I think it was two and a half minutes and it should have been two, but here's what I really liked. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. This is your marketing, you know, week update or something like that. Cool. 30 minutes. You know, that's what I'm hoping for. So Kristen, after I just said all that shit, do you have anywhere you think you can fit in for doing that? Um, I mean, I feel like the, the notes that I already do would be a good structure to yeah. kind of follow to do that. Maybe you're right, Corey, and it is monthly. If, uh, like your monthly update that comes directly because we have our weekly email of touching base, but it says like, here's what you've done over the month. 
and here's, you know, and it, and it has a, and we take a little time with it, but we only do it once a month for all members. I just think maybe Kristen's email doesn't come out as just, here's your notes. I think it's Kristen's email with the notes and then Ryan adding context, you know, and send it on Fridays or Monday, whatever day following that last meeting. So some people will be twice, some people will be once, but it's, Hey, based on the last time we talked, da, 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 here's the stuff we talked about. Here are the deliverables that you need to be working on. And here's what I mean by that. Take a look at what you did here. I would have done this or loved what you did here. Do more of that. 